Um, well, with regard to the revision in the Wuhan number of deaths, I and others predicted weeks ago that the Chinese government would be issuing revisions. There'll be more revisions. And the revisions are not attempt are not an attempt to clarify the situation. They're an attempt to confuse the situation. Um, China had an opportunity to be clear at the beginning. It has never conducted a widespread testing program. Uh, for example, they say they're going to conduct 11,000 more tests in Wuhan. Of course, 11,000 tests is nothing. Um, so we're going to get more bad numbers from China, which China and its defenders will claim is a sign of transparency. It's exactly the opposite. As I took the number of migrants that CGTN said occurred, the lowest available infection rate, and the lowest among the large countries with a large number of cases, time and circulation number, and got 2.9 million. And, you know, it could be too low. Mm. Uh, some people say, well, it could be too high. If it's too high, it's off by a factor of two, and mm. China's number is off by a factor of 90. Um, mm. The size of the population outside of Hubei means that China is not at all telling the truth about the number of COVID cases outside of Hubei. Mm. And then I did some checks on, like, could China hide this number of cases? Yes, it's a huge population. There are many respiratory illnesses in China. There are many deaths for normal reasons in China, mm -hmm. and COVID could be hidden within those.